Now, so the topic today is linear inequalities. So linear inequalities, inequalities. So we have the symbols for linear inequalities. Symbols for linear, like this, means less than, less than. The way we normally write it, less than. This means greater than. This means less than or equal to. Well, this means greater than or equal to. Or equal to. So we can have expression with the, it can be told to solve inequality. Solve inequality x minus 1 greater than or equal to 4. This is called simple statement because it is simple as such. So we say x greater or minus, then this one because the equal sign becomes 4 plus because it was minus. That is x greater than 5, and that is the solution. Number 1, number 2, we have x minus 3 is less or equal to 2. That becomes x minus uh, less equals to 2 Another simple example. Another simple example. The two two x minus three less than or equals to uh, seven. Less.
less than or equals to 3x minus 2. So we are solving the inequality. So what you do, you close that and you close it. Say 2x minus 3 is less than or equals to 7. 2x less than or equals to 7 plus 3. That one causes inequality becomes that. 2x is less than 10. 2, 2. Therefore, x is less than 5. Come to this end. Now you close. You take this thing. Up to that point, you close this end. You deal with that end. 7 less than 3x minus 2. 7 minus 2 closes that side becomes positive less than 3x. 9 less than 3x. 3, 3. So therefore, 3 is less than x. Combine them. 3 is less than x, less than 5. Sometimes you can be asked to give the integral values integers are just positive all numbers or negative all numbers so in between we have three four five six two one zero so the numbers that are lies between we have that okay it's three four five so the number three four and five final part Final part we have two x minus three x less than or equals to four, which is less than three x minus two. We close that point, so we have two x minus three x is less than four. So what you do here? That becomes minus x is less than 4. Anytime coefficient of x is negative, then you will reverse the sign. So if we reverse the sign, it becomes x greater or equals to 4. Negative 4. We have reversed the sign because of this coefficient there. Come to this end. Close that and become 4 less than 3x minus 2. That is 4 plus 2 less than 3x. 6 is less than 3x. 3, 3. 2 is less than x. So we combine that. So we said here that x is greater than negative 4. So negative 4, I think it's less than that. So that becomes 2 less than x, which is greater than negative 4 then the other part is to representing inequalities graphically representing inequalities inequalities graphically graphically like if I have x is less than or equals to 5 x is less than 4 and also have y is less than 5 y is less than equal to 2 this is the Cartesian plane x axis y axis 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 1 2 3 4 of course they are negative Coming up one, two, three, four, five, blah blah blah. Then we have x is less than or equals to five. So you come here, you come there, you draw a continuous line if we have equal sign. If we have less or equal sign, we have to draw a continuous line. Then you label the line x is less or equals to five. Then we ask ourselves if 4, if we replace here by 4, is 4 less than 5? Yes. So we share the unwanted region, the region that doesn't satisfy the inequality. So that is outside here. You share that. And 
then x is less than 4 x is less than 4 so that is this point here but yeah we don't have this sign we don't have it so if you don't have it we draw dotted line dotted line dotted line and then we say x is less than 4 is 3 less than 4 yes a 5 less than 4 no so that side you say no you shade it coming to y the same same thing y less than 5 you draw because we don't have that sign there what we do we put dotted line then we shade the unwanted region unwanted region then we also have y is less or equals to 2 so that case we draw continuous line because we have a equal sign so is one less than or equals to two yes is three less than or equals to two no so we shade that place where we say it is no so that one there you can post the video and continue eh? What if I have x plus y is less or equals to 10? So this case here, yeah, to represent the line, this is what we say. We draw a tension plane. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative put two x here so that we don't cover the more space so we want to represent this one so we say we pick some two points that will satisfy the inequality let's say if x is 5 y will be 0 2 times 5 is 10 plus 0 is that so we plot 5 and 0 5 and 0 is there then if y is um, Six. If y pick another point, if y is six, put six there. That is four. X will be two. We plot that point x two six two six is somewhere there. Then once you done that, you have to draw because we have this sign here. We have that sign of the equal sign, so we just come and draw that way. It's continuous. Then we pick some points in between 4 and 3. Let's pick 3 and 3. 3 is 3 plus another 6 plus 2 plus 3 is 9, so that is less than. So means inside here is wanted. So we shade the unwanted. that then again let's say I have another equation like this of 3x plus 2y is less or equals to 10 not 10 and put down um, and put 15 18 so if here we say let's talk of if x if x is 3 y will be that is 9 9 minus 18 is 9 y will be 4.5 so we plot that 3 and 4.5 3 and 4.5 somewhere there then if x is 0 if x is 3 x is 2 that will be 12 of y will be 6 2 and 6 2 and 6 so that one there will form that line there and 
then you try zero zero satisfy that and then you shade the unwanted region so this point where they meet becomes the the values of x and y when they are solved when you solve these things this inequality simultaneously thank you